Oh, it's Emma. Hey, Emma. I know you. I should hope so. I'm your mother. We should all sit. No, wait, I don't understand. No, don't touch me. What the hell is this? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. What are you doing here? This is just cruel. These girls lost their mother, and you don't seem the least bit regretful. Believe me, Maddie. I have wounds deeper than you will ever see. And what you did to my brother? Huh? Well, neither of us were happy. I thought by staying away, I was giving him a chance to find someone he could be happy with. Oh, come on. It's easy to say that now. Theo was out of his mind. The search went on for weeks, for months. Well, I just thought I needed some time to figure things out. And then I realized I couldn't go back. Gavin and I went to Mexico. We had a little bit of money, started raising horses. The years went by, and we kind of isolated ourselves in our own little world. But Gavin's dead. Or did you lie about that, too? He got sick about five years ago. So we came back to the States for a while, for treatment. You've been in San Diego this whole time? No. San Francisco. You don't know how many times I've thought of you over these years. Oh, that's comforting. Brooke. No, don't shut me up on this. You are our mother. You are supposed to be here for us, the one person that loves us the most, and you abandoned us. Do you have any idea what it's like not growing up with a mother? The birthdays, the school plays? I mean, do you even know how many nights I cried myself to sleep? I, I didn't explain it. No, you explained yourself perfectly. 